Hey guys, welcome back to Mr. Brandon's Writing Lesson. So excited to see everybody here today. So guys, we are going to get started with our writing today. And we are, as always, we're going to take out our supplies first, right? So go ahead and pause the video and take out a pencil and a piece of paper and we will get started here. So pause the video and take out a pencil and a piece of paper and we'll get started writing. Alrighty guys, we got our tools out, we have our supplies out, our pencil and paper, and we are ready to get started with our writing lesson today. So scholars, we have been talking about capitalization this week. So we've been talking about capitalization. So scholars, which three things do we capitalize in a sentence? Which three letters in a word do we capitalize in a sentence? So the first one is we capitalize names, right? So we always capitalize a person's name. The next one is we always capitalize the word I. So we always capitalize the word I. And the last one that we've been talking about is we always capitalize the first letter of the sentence, right? So anytime we start a sentence, we start with a capital letter. We're going to move on now and scholars I actually um, have a writing sample from Kalei in Howard University today that we're going to take a look at and see how she did. So Kalei sent us a writing sample last week and let's take a look at her writing response and see what she wrote. Alright Kalei wrote, a time I was happy is when I went to Chuck E. Cheese. So time she was happy was when she went to Chuck E. Cheese. She said, my mom, dad, and brother was there. We played lots of games and ate lots of pizza. Ooh, that sounds like a good time. So awesome job, Clay, telling us who was in your story, which characters were in your story, your mom, your dad, and your brother. And you also told us the setting, which takes place at Chuck E. Cheese. That's where the story takes place. All right, and let's keep reading here. I love how you also used an exclamation mark at the end of that sentence. Awesome job using that exclamation mark. So the next sentence is, it was so much fun. I can't wait to go back. So now, guys, we're just going to go over a brief review of what I expect when you send in your writing responses. So awesome job, Clay. Um, so scholars, this is what I always expect when you send in your writing responses. All right, scholars, so let's go over what I expect from your writing responses. So, kindergarten, as always, we are going to be writing a four-sentence response. So, kindergarten, you're going to be writing a four-sentence response in first, next, and last order, responding to the prompt that I give you here in just a second. So, you're going to be giving me a response to the prompt that I give you, in here, give you here in just a second. And, guys, also, as always, we're going to pay attention to spacing. Make sure that there's a one-finger distance in between each word and capitalization like we've been discussing this week, punctuation like we've discussed last week, and lastly make sure you're paying attention to spelling so that you're getting everything spelled correctly. Now first grade you're going to be doing, doing the exact same thing except you're going to be writing a five sentence paragraph in first, next, and last order responding to the prompt. So first grade you're going to be doing the same thing but writing me a five sentence paragraph responding to the prompt. Alrighty guys, so now that we went over what I expect with your writing responses, let's get started with our writing prompt for the day. So scholars, our emotion of the day is going to be surprise. So does anybody know what surprise means? How do you feel when you feel surprised? The definition of being surprised is when something happens that you do not expect. So when something happens that you don't expect to happen. So have you guys ever been surprised? Have you um, ever had like a brother or sister or anything like that that jump out and try and scare you and you were just walking around a corner and you didn't expect them to be there? Anything like that ever happened to you guys? All right, so guys, let's write about a time where we felt surprised. So we could write about a birthday party. We could write about seeing someone that we didn't expect to see. But let's write about a time we felt surprised and a time that something happened where we didn't expect it to happen. Alright guys, you did a great job today with your writing. So guys, 
I look forward to reading your writing responses next week. So make sure that you're putting a lot of effort into them and doing the best that you can do, okay? And also make sure you're still getting on Lexia and Zern each day and doing the guided reading calls. They're really important to continue growing your brains. All right, guys. Well, have a great Friday, and I will see you again next week. So you guys have a great weekend also, okay? Bye.